Monocot seeds, also known as monocotyledonous seeds, are characteristic of plants that belong to the group Monocotyledonae, such as grasses, lilies, and orchids. These seeds have a distinct internal structure that supports their development and germination. Let's explore the detailed structure of a monocot seed. Monocot seeds, although varying widely in size and shape, share common features that protect and sustain the developing plant embryo. The outermost layer of a monocot seed is the seed coat. This single layer serves as a protective barrier against physical damage, pathogens, and dehydration. Unlike dicots, the seed coat of monocots is often thinner and less complex. The hilum is a small scar on the seed surface that marks the point where the seed was attached to the ovary wall. It is typically less prominent in monocots compared to dicots. Internally, a monocot seed contains endosperm and embryo. One of the defining features of monocot seeds is the presence of a large, nutrient-rich endosperm. The endosperm is a tissue that stores food in the form of starches, proteins, and oils, which nourish the developing embryo during germination. The embryo of a monocot seed, though smaller in proportion to the endosperm, is intricately organized and consists of the following parts. Cotyledon or scutellum. Monocots have a single cotyledon, known as the scutellum. It is a specialized structure that absorbs nutrients from the endosperm and transfers them to the growing embryo. The scutellum is crucial for the early stages of germination. The plumule is the part of the embryo that will develop into the shoot system, including the first true leaves. It is enclosed in a protective sheath called the coleoptile. Coleoptile is a sheath that encloses and protects the plumule as it grows upward through the soil. The radical is the embryonic root that will grow into the primary root system. It is covered by a protective sheath called the colohiza. Colohiza is a sheath that covers and protects the radical during its growth through the soil. During germination, the monocot seed absorbs water, leading to the swelling and softening of the seed coat. The radical emerges first, breaking through the colohiza and growing downward to form the primary root. Subsequently, the coleoptile grows upward, piercing through the soil surface and protecting the plumule. Once above ground, the coleoptile opens to release the plumule, which then develops into the shoot system, while the scutellum continues to supply nutrients from the endosperm until the seedling can photosynthesize. Monocot seeds, with the protective seed coat, nutrient-rich endosperm, and well-organized embryo, are well equipped for successful germination and growth. The unique structures such as the scutellum, coleoptile, and colohiza, play crucial roles in ensuring that the developing plant can access the nutrients it needs and grow efficiently. This intricate internal architecture highlights the specialized adaptations of monocot seeds that contribute to their success in various environments. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.